Hey everyone, Lewis, aka Spider-Man 991 here with another graphic novel review where today I will be talking about the well-known Avengers story, Avengers Under Siege. Now the edition I have is the Marvel Epic Collection, so there is a lot more in a lot more issues in this edition than any other previous collection of Under Siege. So basically Basically, in this book, uh, it starts off with the Avengers dealing with the climax of the Second S Secret Wars, which is where the Beyonder came to Earth and was he and became human. <clears throat> human. Then we have a team up with Alpha Flight when they have to help Namor, the Submariner, reclaim it, reclaim Atlant, deal with the problem with Atuma, who has taken over Atlantis. Next, the Avengers are pulled into limbo when Kang, when Kang the Conqueror starts eliminate, eliminating his alternate. Ver versions from other timelines so that he'd be the only Kang. Then we get a team up of the East and West Coast Avengers when they have to, when they have to deal with Quicksilver, who has gone insane. And finally, the last story is the is the is the title story Under Siege, which involves the, which involves Baron Zemo leading a new incarnation of the Masters of Evil and taking and successfully taking over Avengers Mansion. And during and when the Avengers decide to have a plan of attack and when they go in to take reclaim their home they end up destroying most of the mansion in fact when the masters of evil occupy the mansion they even break into a lot of the avengers avengers personal quarters and destroy all of their personal items i now whenever i look up a list or article that says like best avengers stories under siege is usually usually high on the list and there is good reason for that. This is a real Under Siege is a very good story. Um, Ro Roger Stern does a good, the writer of Avengers does a good job building up to the Masters of Evil, Evil's attack. Um, all the issues that precede Under Siege, though, they do have a hint of what's going on. Most of the villains that we see in the in the preceding issues in this book do play a role in the Masters of Evil assault, which is nice. It is good. I think that's good when comic book writers sort of build up to their big stories. However, though, a lot of these villains are really just following orders, and the only real villain that's a threat is the second Baron Zemo. I mean, he's the only one that has a personal goal in this, which is to ruin Captain America because of the death of his father, the first Baron Zemo. So, <clears throat> and Stern does a good job writing Baron Zemo. He writes him as a brilliant strategist who who's not just a major threat to Captain America, but also the entire Avengers team. I mean, he calculated everything to make sure that they took over the man mansion, which is great. Also, there are some some very good scenes featuring Captain America when Zemo has Cap temporarily imprisoned and he starts taunting Captain America by destroying all of the personal items that they found in his room in the mansion. And then, and Cap, the whole time, he keeps his cool. He does not flinch at all until finally at the end where, after the Masters of Evil are defeated and arrested, Captain Marvel finds Captain America in his room and he is crying because... One of the items that was destroyed was the last picture of his mother. That was a good ending to the to an epic storyline. Overall, uh, this is an awesome story, and if you have to get it, I would say get the Marvel Epic Collection, because like I said, there are a lot more uh, issues in this collection than any other one, and it is good because they all lead up to Under Siege, which is nice. Which is nice, and honestly, I can agree. And I, After reading this, I can honestly say Under Siege is probably one of the best Avengers stories out there and is definitely something that you should read if you like the adventures okay that's it for me thank you again for watching uh be sure to like subscribe to my channel uh i'm i'm gonna post a link in this video to some other videos probably my most recent one and another one that's kind of random but but stay but if you want to check out my channel for other graphic novel reviews thank you again for watching i'm spider-man 1991 saying see you later